Ed from Editors. Uh, welcome to Independence. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Good. I know. Yeah, it's, it's new, is it? Have you been in a cow shed before? Uh, oh, I've been in a cow shed, but never for backstage at a festival before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's quite different, and different can be good as well, can't it? Of course, yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of this year. What we're doing festival wise is yeah. doing festivals we've never done before. Last night, we were at a festival in northern Germany called Omas Teich, and uh, that was mental. It was a big rock, well, a little rock festival, kind of a provincial thing. But it was great fun to turn up and do, you know. Not many people would have heard of us there, but we had a good crack. Yeah, and like, I know you've been around Germany in a while, like, is it just building a bit of a fan base over there? Is that the plan? Exactly, exactly. We, I mean, we we'll spend a lot of time in Europe. We, we have, I mean, probably more success in places like Holland and Belgium than we do in sort of the UK. So um, it's good to go over there and, and work hard in different areas. You know, yeah. there's so much to go, so many different countries who, which are just as short hop, hop away. So you can do a big European tour. It feels like you're doing a lot. And is that fresh for yourself? Because you're, supposed to, you're trying to win the. I mean, you're so successful here and in the UK. Like you're trying to win the fans over there straight away again, aren't you? Um, well, yeah, but that's what you're supposed to do as a band. I think you, every album you've got to come back and win people over again because, you know many people would like certain aspects of an album but if the, if the next one's not any good then there's no point carry, you know yeah. them coming to watch it in, in their in their opinion so yeah we, you've got to impress people each time you go back we we're just talking there beforehand um i actually was at a gig you had in cork years ago it was in a place called cypress avenue yeah. and it was like jointed it was sweaty it was insane is the word I, I describe it do you remember the gig like would you remember that, those kind of gigs uh, we, yeah I mean uh, as I said we, it takes sometimes it takes a few memory jogs and some venue venue names kind of mold together with other venue names but yeah. you know when you walk past the place and you, th and you say I think I, I think I have my dinner in here <laughs> or you know I, it, yeah it all comes back to you it's, it was a while since we were in court but it's yeah. nice to come back we spent a bit of time there today yeah. it's good do you miss playing the clubs uh, well, we kind of play all sorts of venues when we go, you know, I, I said we play in Europe, you, you go to a new territory, you play in a smaller venue, you know, so you yeah. do you do the whole range of, of things, you know, play in America, you play a nice theatre, go to the UK, play a, maybe a bigger sort of, maybe arena, I don't think we'd get into one of those anymore, but uh, that's hopefully the new album will come out and people might spark up a little bit more interest again. And what's the plan with the new album? Is there a date set, or is it just kind of work in progress? No, no it's very loose. We're we're um we're working. There's a, a sort of clutch of songs that we've got, and we need to spend a lot of time in a rehearsal room together to work them over and work them into something that more editors like than the demos they're in at the moment. And I, I obviously I probably would say this, but I I think as a batch of songs in the demo stage, it's more exciting than anything we've ever done. Yeah. So it just needs us to get. In you know, in together and, and make the best out of them. Otherwise, it would be a real wasted opportunity. Yeah, I just saw like um, I think it was a quote from Tom. I think just before the last album that you were kind of nervous handing it over or whatever, and that went on to be so successful. Does that give you confidence to try new stuff with the new album? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, um, I think we've always been quite confident to try new stuff. I think if you look at our our records, I mean, there's a flow to them, but they're, they're very different. I, I think you got the kind of Angular first record, the big rock second record, and you know it was very polished. And the last record was, um, you know, there was a lot more electronics on it, and it was quite a dark feel to it, yeah. running through it. And you know that 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 they are big steps from each other. But um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to making an interesting record, as 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 we all are, really. And what's the plan for the rest of the year? Do you have a few a few more dates and just just kind of work on the album? Yeah, it? yeah, we've got a few more festivals coming up. Immediate plans to go and watch therapy, yeah. uh, and then uh, yeah, festivals and uh, no, none of our own sort of gigs. We're not playing anything in the UK. Uh, we just want to sort of keep a slightly lower profile there and and come back next year and and, and go touring. Super. Can't wait for the gig and thanks for talking to us. Ed. You're more than welcome. Thank Appreciate you. It.